What's going on, guys? Rulinell here, and it is Saturday, October 1st, 2011, and wow. How is your day? How, how are you guys? How, are, how have you been? <laughs> Let's have a moment to just to think about you. Alright, moment's all over. It's back to me now. <laughs> I'm the one making this video. <laughs> but yeah, my day was pretty decent. I just hung out with a little bit of friends today. It is the weekend. It is Saturday. I've had a long, busy, busy week of school. So let's just chill out. Let's play some video games. And let's write some code. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I wanted to end off my night. Uh, just writing some code and doing a little code commentary for you guys. Because that's productive on my end and on your end. You guys get some content. Way to go. Thumbs up. Brownie points. So... I knew you guys were kind of anticipating the uh, the bash prompt that I had mentioned in the last code commentary, that previous one, because that one is going to have to be separated into two parts, because I could just not figure out what I was doing. So, But I did want to mix it up on you. I was going to act like a stealthy ninja, and I just brought you something new. So what you're watching now is a little bit of JavaScript and jQuery. This is work that I had planned on doing for the null shell sidebar design, uh, the one that slides down that you can obviously see when you go to nullshell.com. If you haven't been there, I totally recommend it. I'm going to stop advertising right now. I'm gonna actually going to continue on with this code commentary. But the idea is <laughs> it's going to fi it'll test the URL. It'll grab the URL or what the user is currently reading or the viewer or whatever you want to call the guy. And uh, if, he, if he's looking at a blog post... It's going to uh, it's going to slide out to the month and the year that he's currently viewing. So if you were reading like... Uh, August 2008, it would slide out August 2008, just so you can look at all the other posts that are in that time period or around that time, you know? So, the only problem with that is because we already have it set to, def we, uh, we already have it default defaulting at, um, to open up the one, the current date, if it's like, a, if it's like October 2000 2011 like it is now, what it's going to do is it's going to slide out October 2011. And, uh, what we need to do is we need to test whether, um, the the post that we're viewing or the folder that that's in or the month category if that's already open then don't open it again because that's just going to be stupid <laughs> so because that'll just actually open and close it since the toggle or the click function in jQuery is just going to repeat itself so we need to test whether it is or not and then if it is we're not going to do anything and you can actually see me doing that later on in the video I think that's gonna that's a good thing that's gonna pop up so yeah really that's just the idea with this and that was the only problem I had to face I think. But yeah, we just we just use the explode function, not the explode function. That's in PHP. My bad. But it's it splits the string into an array, and it does that by using JavaScript's uh, split function. So it's it's explode in PHP. It's split in, in JavaScript. My bad. But uh, you guys know the difference. You're programmers, right? Right? <laughs> so yeah, uh, I guess I can move on to something new now. Um, while I was on a soccer game just last week, just the last one I was at. Uh, yeah, I think it was the last one. It's, it's no big deal. It doesn't matter with the story. But after the game, I did some cross-country running with a couple of my coaches. And it was, it was really cool. It was like a, a little bonding moment between the coach and the player. And uh, we were just trying to make casual conversation all throughout. Like, I mean, it's a half an hour run, so we had to occupy the time somehow. We just didn't want just dead air, you know. So they had asked me, like, hey, hey, John, what are you going to do when you get older? What are you going to do to make money and stuff? <laughs> That's not really what they sound like. I'm just playing. But... I had answered them, and I told them, like, you guys, I'm going to go into computers. There's all the stuff that I do already. I, I try to do, like, some programming stuff. I, I like, hunt viruses down. I'm a crazy guy. <laughs> and uh, one of my coaches, Mark, actually, he says to me that, hey, uh, this bi the business that I own, I, I have this website that I'm not really too proud of. Like, it's he just sort of threw it together, you know? He had just grabbed an online template, and he, he really doesn't know what he's doing. He's not a computer guy, but he, he still wants something so he can, like, present it to the, to the public, he still has something to have something on the internet, you know, because that's what businesses should have, so, he builds this web page, and his web page, mm, it, it's not really the best on the design aspect, I feel like it could use some work, <laughs> from a programmer's perspective, it's a little bit bad, it's, it uses a ton of, a ton of unneeded code, if you, if you were to look at the page with the World Wide Web Consortium, or the W3C, you're going to see about 70 errors, or 70 things that are wrong with it, so, it could use some work, <laughs> so, Really, that's a little bit of a new project for me. That's like that's another thing on my list of crazy stuff to get done. I think I'm running about like 17 projects now. I have no idea, but but yeah, um, that's just a little bit of work with some more CSS, some more jQuery, some more PHP and stuff. But if it's a business, what he really wants in the back end is just something where the, the customers can talk. Not some, not even talk. If you could, just, if you could sell products online, something like that. If you could have a little database. It really what a business should have. Maybe I could do that for him. 
maybe maybe I could help him out with that. But that's gonna take a lot more MySQL knowledge than I have than I know already. So, but if I were to do something like that, I feel like that would be awesome because I could learn so much more about and like in the real world, real world scenario, you're gonna need this forum, you're gonna need this database of customers, you're gonna need to, like customer testimonials. You know, there's so much stuff you could do with it, but it is it is something else to my plate. <laughs> like I listed off the list uh, that I had earlier that I have like 15, 16, 7 things, 17 things that I want to do with code and computers only on top of schoolwork and essays and trumpet and soccer. So there is a ton and ton of stuff. But yeah. <laughs> I have actually tried to work on cleaning up his webpage, but he has a little... Uh, really, what I'm doing now is just recreating it before I start to modify the design to what he likes and to what I can do, you know? So I'm just trying to recreate it, but what he does is part of the web page is centered. It's in this little div. It's in this... It's, it has a border radius, so it looks all fancy. But inside the div, it, there's like... There's a sort of... I think it's a span. I don't know how they do it in the real thing, but I, I would use a span. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, swallowing bourbon there, you know. <laughs> so yeah, it's this span that stretches out to the. Con it's from the left side of the div to the all the way to the right side. But in that right side, there's a miniature navigation that's inside another div that has a border radius. So when I tried to recreate that, I set like the display of both the span and the inside div, the inner div, to be a block to display as a block. Uh, I had the one on the right, I obviously had the side net, that miniature navigation, the, the inner div, I had that float to the right, but for some reason, my span, I like, I, I, it needs a background color, it needs a background color, and it needs borders on the top and bottom that are different colors, so it looks all good, it looks cute, but uh, when I when I tried to write that, all of a sudden, my span is like overflowing on top of the div, and I don't know how to fix that yet, so that's a little bit of a roadblock. <laughs> Get it? Road block. <laughs> oh, I'm so witty. No, no, not at all. But yeah, yeah, that is something that I've been trying to work on. <laughs> um, I haven't touched the bash vocabulary work, uh, the vocabulary thing that I'm trying to do for my English class. I'm trying to create a prompt for it, uh, in the in the bash terminal, like a Linux command command line. Uh, you've ar you've probably already seen this that that previous code commentary. That's just a little review if you haven't. But I still haven't touched it, and I still don't know how I'm going to actually accomplish that or how I'm going to get that done. Um, yeah. <laughs> what else is staring right in front of me? I tried to make a list of things that I could talk about during this commentary before I forget. Visual Basic Script Looping, that's some other school work that I'm actually trying to write a front-end for in Bash. I can show you that later. Uh, GMG UI Suite, I haven't touched that at all. New form. But yeah, this work that I did in JavaScript and jQuery today, the, the stuff that you're watching right now, really is a little bit rusty. I haven't touched Jav J uh, JavaScript and jQuery in quite a while, and I want to. I still haven't even finished the new Boston's video series on it, the one that he, uh, he did a, he did a like, little collaboration with PHP Academy. So they have a lot of good stuff, and there's a lot of stuff that I want to get done. But before I go, before I go to bed tonight, I just wanted to give you guys something else to look at, something new and just give you guys a little bit of content, and it gets stuff done for me. It makes me feel productive, so that's great. Uh, but yeah, I'm um, running out of time here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It is really, really awesome that you guys can come on here and see what I'm up to, and I can do the same to you guys. So let me know what you're up to. Just put it down in the comments. Give me a like, favorite, some, like, subscribe it up, dudes. <laughs> uh, but really, guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, see you later. Bye.